Okay, hello and welcome to this video. This is going to be just a quick video talking about distance fields and the effects that we can create with them. Because when it comes to nanite meshes, we need a substitute for per instance vertex painting. So if you think about it, you've got a nanite mesh, uh, you create an environment, and traditionally, let's say somewhere over here, let's go uh, look at this environment. This is quite a clean environment, but if it wasn't, maybe I'd paint some dirt up the side of these pillars. Um, I'd also, with vertex paint, be able to paint all over the place. But these are actually now out meshes, um, so we we can't do that. And in fact, does, this being a clean environment actually helps uh, with what we're seeing here. So when we go back to looking at like with the distance field gradient, which is what I'd love to use on the object uh, in replacement for uh, the, the gradient uh, that I would paint by hand we can look at the standard effect which is distance to nearest surface and you plug a parameter into there and divide it so that we can create a gradient now this doesn't work because it only works one way due to the fact that any material with the gradient on it need, uh, needs to be applied to an object without effect distance field lighting applied so i'm selecting on this object I've typed in dist and then i can see lighting effect distance field lighting when that's off now we can see, I mean, it's inverted, but we can see black to white gradient, and it looks like a really nice gradient. So if I want that to be on both objects, uh, maybe I'll just turn this one off and then nope, because that was creating the gradient on the other object. So they both need to be on for this effect to work, but they both break because they're affecting their own distance fields. Um, so I, I messed around for quite a while trying to figure out how I could create it on both sides. Turns out it's not really possible uh, with the default node there. Um, but Epic have got another custom node over here, which is distance field approx AO. So I've not heard of this node before. I'm sure it's someone must have mentioned it somewhere um, online. Um, but it's it's a distance field ambient occlusion effect. And so but it being ambient occlusion, it has to appear on both sides. And that means it's the exact solution I was looking for. It creates a gradient between two objects. And we just need to invert it. So that we get a, a well, we don't need to invert it, but we that's how I prefer to visualize things uh, so that we can see the effect that I want. And then also we, uh, well, and I like to multiply and then subtract uh, a noise here when I apply that we get something which is close to an effect that I would make. I just combine two materials here. One could be moss um, or anything you want, sand in the corners and all that sort of stuff. I mean, if you want it to just be, you know, on one object, then you could turn off effect distance field lighting on one object. It's still possible. So if you want it to be like sand that only appears on the floor, then that's good. You can do it like that. Um, but um, in this case, it's creating it's just good effect it's it's better like I, for quite a while I, I couldn't figure out how to make an effect like this because most of the effects online only talk about the other node that i showed off earlier um the obvious things related to this that you, you might run into problems is these objects need to be static because you can see that the effect moves wherever the object moves um so the objects need to be static um but um, in a game like Fortnite, where they do use this exact effect, they don't, they're not too bothered because the, in that game you need to destroy buildings and so on uh, because everything's made out of components. So when you do destroy an object, that effect disappears from the other object. And, uh, you know, a game like Fortnite, they're not too bothered about it visually, it doesn't create that much of an issue. You're blowing things up, you're destroying things, you move on in two seconds, it's not a big issue. Um, but this is just a good solution for uh, solving that problem with the Nanite meshes. So I can't actually select these meshes because they seem to all be blueprints. But uh, if I could, I would apply it to these pillars and we'd see the exact effect that we would want, which is just an ambient occlusion dirt between those pillars. Um, so yeah. See if I can select any mesh in this world. Apparently not. Apparently that'd be too much to ask. But okay. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.